Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. Yesterday's weather was pretty awful. It was raining the whole day, but hey, I promised myself and I promised you guys in my last video that I'd take the X100B outside for a nice shoot. So that's what I did. So what I was supposed to do, I was supposed to vlog this event of doing this night nice shoot, but I didn't want to expose my gear more than I had to. So I decided just to take some footage and do this kind of monologue thing and explain to you what's happening at the same time. So I got the X100B like last week. I've been itching to use it ever since, but I haven't had the time because of work. So it's an easy carry on camera because it's small and compact. So I've taken it with me every time I've left to work. I do a lot of night shifts and stop by different places to take some photos. I've taken some photos at home. I've taken some photos of lights just before heading to work. And here you can see some of those photos. So I visited three locations during the night and here's the first one. So what you're seeing here is some artistic lights. There's this event called City of Light that's ongoing in my hometown, Uvascula, throughout the year. But the main event is at the beginning of October and it lasts about a week. So there's a lot of different kind of light art things around the city. Usually the art has some kind of artistic light patterns and some sounds and music to it. So at some point I'm going to have to cut the sound because they're using copyrighted music from Skyrim and stuff like that. So I can't really show it on the video because I might get a copyright strike. Now the positive side about this awful weather, the rainy weather, is that you get these awesome looking photos using reflections of different kind of surfaces. You have puddles, you have wet walls, you have a wet ground and the lights just bounce off those surfaces in a magical way. The next destination was this river by the city center that used that copyrighted music so i'm just gonna try and keep the volume low now this one was definitely my favorite one it reacted to the music that was playing like the skyrim music or some kind of mu movie music and i really liked the square blocks on the river and how the lights you know illuminated to the trees from the river it was it was really great there was a lot of people there so you could get these kind of cool looking shots with people in them and you know some of the people had these kind of light decorations on them so they give this kind of different kind of vibe to the photos and how people are celebrating the city of light X100V, its smallest aperture or the widest aperture is f2. I pretty much use aperture mode all the time and I realized during the night shoots that I should have probably used manual mode because I got a lot of fuzzy and unfocused photos but well that's kind of the characteristic of night shoots with the X100V. I love those you know blurry out of focus photos if they just have the right kind of mood to them because you can see the motion and you know different kind of lights cl more clearly it's it's a different kind of thing every photo doesn't have to be perfect and sharp and on point also in some photos you get a lot of grain 
but that doesn't really matter either because what I got used to with the original X100 before I sold it and bought the V is that the grain and I'm talking about grain because it is grain it's not noise in other cameras it feels a lot like noise it's something unwanted but what you get with the X100V you get a lot of this nice looking grain that feels like it's you know a film camera it's it's a film shot it's a normal photo now the last destination was the city center at this point my xh2 had been really exposed to the weather so i left it in the car and just took my x100b took some photos and some videos and actually some kind of white stuff started coming out of the sky so there's that but the city center was lively there was this dude playing blues music There were light arts, like you would expect, of course. Then there were these shacks and tents where people were selling churros and flowers. So I took some photos of those. Some entertainers blowing like big soap bubbles and stuff like that. And it was pretty cool. And Probably the best shots that I took were from the city center. I really loved the shot of the guy in like the steam doing churros. That was one of my favorite, definitely one of my favorites. But yeah, that's it. The city of light in New Vascula. I hope you liked the video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. More photo walks, more videos about photography and Fujifilm and, you know, videos and stuff like that coming your way soon. So I'll be seeing you in the next one.